Hey all, so I'm only going to be using the 12 items you see on the screen to try and create some sort of semi-playable level and this video will show me creating and hopefully uploading the level. Here we go! Okay, so here is the first section of the level. It's not too tricky. Just jump down, care for the spikes, jump and up there. I quite like the idea of putting the donut platforms on the tracks like that. It looks pretty cool the way they move. And using the question mark blocks to make up the level. So I'm going to try and continue with this theme throughout the level. Okay, so here's the next section of the level. You have to jump across the bombs, avoid the spikes. It's done something like this. There we go, perfect. The bombs blow up and take out the question mark blocks, not that that's much use for anything. Okay, quite happy with that, it's not too difficult. Let's see what else I can create. Okay, so this is what I've come up with for the next part of the level. Show you how this works. Blocks go up like that. Go around, go up again. So it's done something like this. Just jump across carefully. There we go, not too difficult, just be careful not to fall down. The question mark blocks there as well in some places if you do fall down. Now to think up the next section of the level. Okay, so this is what I've come up with for this section of the level. We have Buzzy Beetles on sideways moving tracks. It's done something like this. There we go, perfect. It's similar to the bomb section back here, but a tiny bit harder, I think. Okay, next section of the level coming up. Okay, so here is the next section of the level. The blocks come slightly above the spikes like this. You just have to jump across. It's a bit easier than this though. So if you go back, they're all slightly out of alignment. So if I go back to here. Get past this section. There we go, you can see now. They go in a sort of wave pattern. Okay, I put the checkpoint here as well. If you do go for the checkpoint, it will slow you down a tiny bit. So you want to get a good time, you want to skip the checkpoint. I made it so you can't keep the big power up, but I think that can be cheesed if you're fast enough. Okay, now to make the second half of the level. Okay, here's the next section of the level. It involves donut blocks and spikes. You just have to avoid the question mark blocks that pop out. There we go, done something like that. It's not too difficult, just have to be careful not to jump too high. Okay, next section of the level. Done something slightly different with this section of the level. It's a tricky timing section. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so you just have to wait for it to go down and then go through like this. Just be careful. Can't really be done with speed. Had the end ones fire out moles, so they can't really hit you. Say so if you're over here and it fired a bullet out, it'll probably hit you. may need to put moles in all of them, as you probably just saw. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'm going to go back a little bit further. Go back to about here. Oh, it did sort of work, but 
slightly concerned about it firing out random bullets and moles where you trying to get across, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this yet. Okay, so I decided to scrap the original idea and do it in reverse. So now they go like that, so you just have to nip through carefully. Now let's go a bit further back, let's go to about here and see how that acts now. There we go, it's a bit better than what it was before. Just have to be careful. There we go. That's that section completed, finally. I'm happy with that now, so I can move on to the next section. Okay, so here's what I've come up with for this section. You have to stay on the moving platform and jump through the spikes. It's done something like this. There we go. It's quite a tricky section. It's not overly difficult though. I'm quite happy with this section. So I'm going to move on to the next one now. Okay, so here is the final section of the level. It's just the case of going past these spikes. So like this, carefully, up to there, and just jump across and you beat on the level. There we go, done, easy. Well, maybe. Now I'm going to check over the level. I might make a few small changes in places. I'm going to reduce the timer as well. And then I'm going to try and upload this. Okay, so I'm happy with the level. 60 seconds to beat it. I've beaten it in around 45, so you've got at least 15 seconds to play with if you're fast. Right, here we go. Uploading time! Insert cool speedrun title here. You can think of your own title for this level, so I couldn't think of anything. Right, here we go, second section. Perfect. And I beat it on the first attempt and with 20 seconds left. So that was pretty good going. Now I just need to beat it again from the checkpoint. That didn't cause me any real problems. So there we go. Uploading the level. Right now, here we go. Level is uploaded. Now, I'm going to see what sort of time I can get on this level. Hopefully I can get it down to around 30-35 seconds maybe, with a bit of luck. So here we go, I'll see what I can do on that. Okay, so here is the level actually uploaded. Now, I'm going to speedrun this and see what sort of time I can actually get. So here we go. Thank you. 
Wow, messed up right at the end. Well, I made a slight mistake near the end, but, as promised, I've got it down to around 30 seconds. I think I could shave a few more seconds off of that. I'm going to have a few more goes. If I can't do it, then I'll take that as my time, though, quite happily. Wow! Wow! Wow, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. That was around 29 seconds. So there we go, I achieved my goal of getting under 30 seconds. The bookmark is in the pinned comment if you want to play this yourself and in the video description. And I hope you enjoyed the video.